said in previous match days, AS Roma, they are the Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, it is uh, Roxa who has possession down on this near touchline, feeds it to Kepa, and uh, it is now Axa who gets it through. He whips it in towards the penalty spot, and it's headed up and away, but they can't clear the lines just yet. And it's another chance here. So dangerous in the air, usually AS Roma, and they're causing... Bayern Munich would be to just try and weather the storm, but look at this, Komen's in. Another chance here for Komen, this time for Bayern Munich, and pushed away a solid left hand from the goal here. No goals, but we could have had three as Dzeko now finds Mkhitaryan forward down the right-hand side and another chance here for the new man into the squad, Axa, to turn provider out towards Kepa. Kepa turns it on to Roxa, who chips towards Ooh. the back post. And it... Twisting and turning. Doesn't want to lose it there and doesn't as he finds his fellow teammate, Roxa, who returns the favour down the right-hand side. It seems to be a very um, composed start from the new man in into this starting lineup. Is nicely, it may be something that he is adding here because it seems um, he, he's a similar sort of character and, and he can win headers in the box like oh, this. It's a great flick on. Well, there's your answer. That's exactly why he's in the side. Won the flick. The better chances so far in this game. This is the first shot, I believe. It's Mestre with the assist and Alex Algothiel, who entered the day, by the way, in the top three league wide goal scorers. Got, he bags his seventh of this season so far. They look very, very solid, but they weren't quite as creative. And of course, they haven't scored and now find themselves behind. So possibly not working quite as well as we thought it might. There's another flick on, another chance here. Left foot shot saved by the goalkeeper. And AS Roma are living very, very dangerously right now. They've had most of the ball, Roma. They just have not been able to break down this this Bayern Munich defence. They, they haven't indeed. It's been a really resolute performance from Bayern Munich. And sometimes you to race up over the halfway line with Edin Dzeko. Oh, that's a really sloppy pass, but he wins it back. Just can't quite get going still. 83 minutes. Are we going to see a late, late? What's going to happen here? In towards that penalty spot. Goalkeeper's punch. He's off his line. Another chance here. Great block again. And that looked certain to nest him and the goal. And it just could not find its way through. This will be last chance saloon here for AS Roma. A, a cynical challenge there. The referee plays a good advantage. It's in towards the penalty spot. Surely the equaliser. Oh, he's gone for the near post. Save by the goal. And that was the moment, Harry. And really, with the whole goal at his mercy, he goes far post. It's a goal. He's gone near post. And he's missed the boat. What a chance. And it has finished a huge three points for Bayern Munich. But if you or a bit of inexperience from him, it's, it's just gone straight for goal and it, it's a bit wayward in the end. Um, it might take time for him to settle into the Roma Roma squad, of course. Uh, still this game to be played that flashed up at the bottom of the screen there. Mestre, five assists on the season so far. I mean, not only has his midfield work been fantastic, but the assists are pouring in for him as well. You can tell he's sort of settling into that that almost Eterito style role this season. Yeah, it also goes to show as the chance comes in, headed goalwards, and it's in from Edin Dzeko, and it's AS Roma who take the lead. Exactly. On the right-hand side of your screen there, I believe who's, who's able to poke this one home in the end. A great through ball. It, it was what we were asking for uh, from Bayern Munich in the first game, in the first half, if you remember. More sort of balls like this where you... It's almost, I don't want to say a 50-50, but you... So who's had a quiet game today. Just seems to be ticking over possession at the moment as now he has the chance to... Oh, it's a lovely back heel from Roxa though and it drops him again on the edge of the area. Chance to get the right foot shot. Good block this time from Alex. Proving that he's a... Yeah, he is. And someone that we haven't really highlighted or, or spoken about is, is Jose. He's got some defending to do here though. Well, he's giving it away though. Almost turned a bit of a provider this season, uh, this season for uh, his teammates, especially Los Candalo. Better two crosses in towards the middle of the area. Could be last kick of the half, I think, Adam. Yeah, just not falling for Kepa there. They've got another chance though, and headed straight down the gullet of Manuel Neuer. 
Mkhitaryan. And of course, the goal scorer, Axa, in towards her. Edin Dzeko. Fazio, of course, another player who's decent in the air as the ball gets played in. The goalkeeper comes and misses and then tips it off the goal line. Brings Neuer out, trying to get a piece of the ball. Didn't. Yeah, he's completely misjudged it. And then, like you said, scrambling back goalwards. Gets the save. That, how important might that save be from Mestre? Fired away from Kepa. Jose. Poor pass from him. Spanish just not quite clicking at the moment, but they might now. It's Mestre. Surely he's got to square it. He's no. played it too far. Almost like Paul Gascoigne of uh, Euro 96 all those years ago. As the ball gets played. Fine. Jose finds Mestre, who's been really the man in and around the action at both ends of the field so far. And it is him again down this right-hand side. Squares it in towards Jose. <laughs> And it's Bayern Munich 1, AS Roma 1. Team combining here, it's Mestre once again. And we said Jose was having a bit of a, a bit of a slow day. Mestre says, don't worry, buddy. Here's one for you. And he smashes it. He smashes it. Almost takes the, the net off the, the uprights there. Lovely weight of pass on the... So, the ball gets crossed in towards that penalty spot. Almost squeezed it through there to Kepa. Still all AS Roma. 13 minutes plus stoppage time remaining. Kepa feeds it to Axa. Now back to Kepa again. Back towards the back post. Oh. And Roxa rises the man of AS Roma when it comes to goals. And if my mass serves me correctly. And what an important goal that may prove to be, Harry. Correct, you are. Yes. Roxa now joins Alex Algothiel on seven goals. A really, really well-worked team goal, you know, from from AS Roma. It's as you The likes of Edin Dzeko, and he's bagged himself a wonderful headed brace again today. And Roxa is on fine form. And now Axa, Ooh. it's a right for shot. It's off the post. A turnover by Kepper. And he's got his first of the season. I mean, prior to the second goal, we were questioning what Roma were going to bring to the table. It's a real one-two punch. And, well, I think Kepper will be thanking Axa for his first goal of the season. You won't get an easier chance than that. Credit to Axa, the new man, stepping in for Venom today. He shot ricochets off the, off the post. And then I think it's one this season can they go on from here because Bayern Munich seem to have lost their heads now they're giving the ball away left right and center it's Axa again he seems to be at the heart of everything good now uh, from an AS Roma point of view wonderful ball across the face from Kepa and turn home again and it's Roxa with his eight and he is possibly looking at an MVP award Harry because he's having a brilliant brilliant game now this ball right here from Kepa is a thing of beauty. It's Alex trying to play the offside trap. Kepa is off, just compounds the misery. Credit to Roma though, they were professional in that second game. That's the turnaround in 